Hello, good evening. How are you today? Can you hear me, my dear participants? Juan Carlos? Hello, hello. Hello, good to have you here. Um, I'm happy to have you here and I'm waiting for the other people to connect. Uh, hello, Elizabeth. Okay, I think that Elizabeth cannot hear us. We are going to wait just a couple of minutes in order to the other people can join, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, we are going to move to share the platform to talk about the platform a little bit. Okay. He estado ¿Sí? trabajando en la plataforma. ¿Y cómo le ha ido? Cuénteme. Eh, algo difícil, como eh, tenía bastante tiempo de no estudiar inglés, algunas cosas ya se me olvidaron, pero aquí Tienes estamos. Razón. Pero sigamos intentando y recuerde que nosotros le podemos apoyar. Eh, muchas veces, tal vez cuando ustedes mandan el mensaje, yo no puedo responder de inmediato, pero a veces los compañeros se activan antes y muchas veces logran completarlo. Si no, <coughs> perdón, pues yo inmediatamente puedo, me conecto, ¿verdad? Y reviso y si está en mis manos ayudarles a resolver estas eh, preguntas, pues con mucho gusto, ¿verdad? La idea es que ustedes puedan eh, perseverar, ¿sí? Ok. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thanks. So today we are going to continue with uh, the class about uh, conjunctions. If you remember, yesterday we uh, worked with conjunctions, but we just introduced uh, the definitions, the types of conjunctions, the position of conjunctions into the into the sentence. Uh, so now we are going to complete the exercises in order for you to be able to complete the knowledge check. And if you have questions about the knowledge check in the platform, we can do it, okay? Ayer eh, iniciamos la clase de las conjunciones. Eh, básicamente les di la definición, la posición de las conjunciones en la oración. Algunos ejemplos, hicimos alguna práctica. Pero ahora eh, vamos a complementar un poquito la práctica y, eh, indag e indagar si ustedes tienen preguntas para resolver lo que sería la sección 1.7 del Knowledge, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a, a minimizar esta parte y me voy a ir a la, a la otra presentación. <coughs> so let me see. Okay, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. very good. Hello, Arnold. Hello, Katia. And hello. Good night, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good, good night. evening. Good to have you here. Okay, my dears. Uh, as I was saying, hello, Noe. Uh, yesterday we were studying conjunctions. We said that a conjunction is used depending on how suitable. Uh, they are for joining different words or sentences. Basically, the role of the conjunction is to join words in sentences. And yesterday we made some exercises with and, or, but. We also learned about conjunction whereas, que decíamos que era eh, mientras, however, sin embargo, yet, eh, aún, ¿verdad? Eh, despite, eh, independientemente de, eh, o a pesar de, ¿verdad? Even so, eh, aún así, but, pero, sí. although, aunque. Entonces, ahí ustedes tenían un ejemplo, ¿verdad? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Chicken meat is white, eh, whereas cow meat is red. La carne de pollo es blanca, eh, y lo, luego decíamos, eh, Puede decirse también, eh, mientras, ¿verdad? Eh, la carne de, de res es roja. O la carne de, sí, de res en este caso. That man has much money, however, he isn't happy at all. 
Ese hombre tiene mucho dinero, sin embargo, él no es feliz del todo. The weather was snowy, yet it was not cold. El clima estaba eh, nevado, pero, o puede decirse eh, aún, eh, o todavía no estaba frío. Despite, I can manage to stay cheerful despite everything. Puedo manejar, estar gozosa eh, a pesar de todo o independientemente de todo. Even so, the hypothesis is true. Even so, further research is required. La hipótesis es cierta. Aún así, futuras investigaciones, eh, futura investigación es requerida. He is a very, han he is a very handsome, uh, we can say man, but he is a very rude person. Él es una persona muy guapa, pero una persona, pero es muy, una persona muy ruda. Although, although he, she loves her job, he, she decided to quit the job. Aunque ella ama su trabajo, ella decidió eh, renunciar. And so we start eh, looking more definitions. We talk about the casual and contrasting. Um, in the casual, we talk about link causes and effects. In the contrasting, we talk about links positive and negative. In comparing different points, <clears throat> we also uh, learn about any other connectors or synonyms for the different conjunctions we were studying. And we also learn about uh, although, however, and some differences between them. And we learn uh, about that we have, uh, and this was the part we, we are going to start right now. We need to know that, sorry, ya vamos a pasar a los ejercicios. Here, I want to focus on this part. We need to know that we have, let me move this in order for you to watch. Okay, subordinating conjunctions can be divided in comparison, time, concession, Relative pronouns, reason, condition, place, relative adjectives or manner. For example, a comparison condition is done. Um, we can say Coca-Cola is better than pe Pepsi, just to say something, okay? Uh, we say rather than, whether, as much as, whereas. Uh, the conjunctions of time, after, as soon as, until. Whenever, now that, the, con the conjunctions uh, for concession, though, although, even though. The relative pronouns, who, whoever, whom, whomever, whose. Reason, because, since, so that, in order to, us. The condition, if, only if, unless, provided that, Assuming that <coughs> the place, the conjunctions of place, where, wherever. The rel uh, also, we have conjunctions that are also relative adjectives. That, wherever, which, whichever. And we have the ones of manner. How, as though, as, as though, as if. Eh, entonces, eh, no vamos a ver quizás a detalle cada una. Yo les voy a mandar el material para que ustedes no puedan ver. Porque en realidad en la plataforma solo nos estamos enfocando en algunas, ¿verdad? Básicamente las que se están trabajando según la plataforma eran but, eh, eran, eh, let me see, vamos a regresar. En. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. En. In the but, platform we have but, so, and, and however. however. Yeah. How, eh, sin embargo, <laughs> Vamos a hacer la redundancia. However, sin embargo, I wanted to show you. Quería mostrarles, ¿verdad? Todas las que existen. Y que gradualmente ustedes se van a ir dando cuenta que existen y las van a ir encontrando a medida vamos avanzando en los diferentes eh, textos, ¿verdad? Eh, but now, in the grammar worksheet, I just will eh, focus on the ones that appear in the platform exercises. So tonight, I have here with me this grammar worksheet for you to practice. And in the number one, for example, the introduction or the instruction says, choose the best word to complete each sentence. Escoja la mejor palabra para completar cada oración. 
I am hungry, but I don't have any money to buy lunch. Estoy hambrienta o hambriento, pero no tengo dinero para comprar almuerzo. Entonces ahí eh, la oración nos hace ver que eh, el que califica más o el que es más adecuado es but. Porque son dos ideas, ¿verdad? Dijimos que el but nos sirve para contrastar, perdón, contrastar dos ideas. Una que es diferente de la otra. Por ejemplo, I am hungry. Eh, I don't have any money to buy lunch. Estoy hambrienta, no tengo nada de dinero para comprar, comprar almuerzo. Entonces, and podría ser, pero la que más se adapta es but. Estoy hambrienta, pero no tengo dinero para comprar almuerzo. So, I'm going to give you uh, one minute to read and also to try to propose um, what could be the possible answer. For example, it's late and but I'm tired. John likes funny movies and but he doesn't like scary movies. Ok, I will give you one. Le voy a dar una a cada uno. Solo las vamos a leer todas, ¿sí? We live in an apartment and but we like it very much. Her name is Maria and but his name is Fernando. I think math is difficult and but I like it. It is a nice gift and but I don't like it. Harris is a big city and but it's the capital of France. My friend isn't very big and but is very strong. Fruit tastes good and but is healthy for your body. Okay, so who answered? ¿Quién, quién contestó, chicos? Vamos a empezar. Yo, teacher. Who said? Yo. Who said Eric. No? Eric, very good. Eric, what do you think is the right answer? Uh, number two, it's late and I'm tired. Okay, it's late and I'm tired. Okay, Crisia, I'm, I'm looking for you. Raising your hand. Number four. Number four, very good. We live in apartment and we eat very, we like it very much. We live in an apartment and we like it very much. Okay, very good. I see more people. Veo más personas con la manito levantada. Solo déjenme hacer algo por acá para poder hacerlo. Okay. Entonces, la primera era and, y la number four me dijo que, eh, Crisia, ¿verdad? Let's see. And. Ok. Who has a uh, Elizabeth? Tell us, Elizabeth. Number yeah. three. Number three. Tell us. John likes funny movies, but he doesn't like scary movies. Ok. Very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Ok. Let me see more hands. Veo más manitas. Roberto. Tell us, Roberto. Díganos. Her name is Maria and his name is Fernando. Okay, very good. We have two people there and we are introducing each one. Okay, nice. Okay, next volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Julie. I think math is difficult, but I like math. Okay, Number very good. No matter, uh, you say and or but. But. Okay, very good. Yes. No matter it is difficult, I like it. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other volunteer for number Me. seven? Okay. Number seven. Katia and then Noe. It's a nice gift, but I don't like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it happens sometimes. <laughs> Oops. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, Noe. Thank you, Katia. Noe. <clears throat> okay. Um, Paris is a big city mm -hmm. and it's the capital of France. Very good. You say more information about, about Paris. Thank you very much, Noé. Okay, who else? Roberto. Roberto, Roberto already participated. <coughs> Pero veo la manito, Roberto. No sé si quiere hacer otra. Veo su manita levantada. My friend isn't very big, but he's very strong. Okay, very good. So, but, okay, number 10. 
who would like to complete number 10? Elizabeth, tell me. Okay, um, just give me a moment. Okay, don't worry. Fruit tastes good mm -hmm. and it's healthy for your body. Okay, and right, because you give uh, two information about fruit that tastes good and that is healthy for your body. Very good. Okay, congratulations, you did it great. So let's see what happened here. Let's continue, continuemos. Eh, ya la número 10 está resuelta, so we are going to start from 11. Vamos a comenzar desde la número 11. For the people that has not participated yet, it could be nice, a nice chance to, to participate. If not, you can double participate. Okay, number 11. Volunteer for number 11. Grisia, tell me. Number 11, it's, um, I, am, I am afraid of dogs, but I, I'm not afraid of cats. Very good. <clears throat> Only one uh, little correction, afraid. Afraid. Yeah, sí. la aire, afraid. Yes, very good. Thank you, Crisia. And let's see who else. Uh, Arnold. Good evening, Arnold. Okay. Tell us. Number 12. Okay. Our train is, is late. Our train is late, but I think we will arrive off on time. Okay, very good. No matter we are a little bit late, I think that we will arrive on time. Very good. Thank you, Arnold. Okay, who else? Quien más? Number 13. Oh my God, I will do it. I will do number 13. He usually gets home at four o'clock and then he does his homework. Okay, and number 13 is end. Okay, number 14. Julie, would you? Tiene, tiene el micrófono apagado. Ah, okay. I apologize that I had to go to restart my internet connection because something failed. So I'm sorry. I'm here back. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay so okay. I would like to know if you have the possible answer for number. Let's see. Teacher. Yeah. No aparece la pantalla. Yeah. Let me share again. Okay, let me let me do a new share. Vamos a compartir de nuevo. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now now there it is. Can you can you watch it? We were pending. I just complete number 13. So number 14. Okay. Tell us. Tell, dígame. Eh, por ejemplo, I want to go to the beach and but it is raining. Elizabeth? I want to go to the beach but it's raining. Okay, we can say that this week. <laughs> That's true. Okay, yes. number 15? Me. Okay, Katia. Whales are big and they live in the ocean. Okay, very good. Whales are big and they and they live in the ocean. Number 16. Me teacher. Okay, Julie, go ahead. My brother wants to be a, an astronaut and he wants to travel to the moon. 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 To the moon, yes. Okay, number 17.
I will do number 17. Me. Okay, who said me? <laughs> Katia. Katia, okay, Katia, tell, tell us. Their hamburgers are delicious, but they are expensive. Yeah, the hamburgers, right? Ham yes. Uh, 18. Me, teacher. Okay, Elizabeth, tell us. Okay. Julie. <laughs> okay, Julie, sorry. First, I want to play football, and then I want to go home. Very good. Number 19. Let me see, uh, Christian. Actor, but he isn't fam famous. Famous, yeah, very good. Uh, Arnold? Thank you, Crisia. My dear uh, Arnold or Roberto? I don't know, because I see your two hands. Okay. okay. Roberto? The worksheet is fun and it is easy. The worksheet is fun? And it's easy. Okay, very good. Yeah, two adjectives for the worksheet. Very good. Congratulations. Now you know how to identify when it's the conjunction and. Uh, to provide more information and when it, you use the conjunction but to contrast two ideas that can be a little bit different. Okay, now I have here uh, another grammar sheet and it says and, and, and but with present simple tense. Complete each of the sentences below. Use your imagination. It says it's five o'clock but I have to stay at work or it's five o'clock and I want to go home. Okay, so I will give you uh, one for each one. Le voy a dar una a cada uno. So you decide uh, who wants to start with number three and uh, completing, okay? So Arnold tenía su manita levantada y luego uh, Elizabeth. Okay. Number number three. Okay. Michelle has a new car, but it's too expensive. Okay, it's oops. Too expensive. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, another volunteer. <laughs> Me teacher. Okay, Noe, go ahead. Michelle has a new car and it's very comfortable. Okay. <coughs> nice. Okay, next volunteer. Uh, Roberto. Okay. I'm tired and I am and I am stressed. Okay, very good. It's the last one. The, the next one. I'm tired and I'm stressed. Very good. Okay, Arnold. Thank you, Roberto. My dear Arnold. No sé si nos escucha Arnold. Hola, hola. Yo creo que no tiene encendido el micrófono. Sí, vamos a quitarle el, 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 el vamos a dar mute. Pero fíjese que no me permite. Le, le tiene que hacer el manualmente. Ok, volunteer for number, uh, ok. Number um, five. Ok, Katia. I'm tired, but I need a study. Ok, I need to study. That's true. Okay, number seven. Let's see, volunteer for number seven. Uh, Crisia? Sí, teacher. Uh, okay, Julie and then Crisia. Okay, we have a holiday next week, but I go to doctor. Okay, but I will go, or I, yeah, I will go to the doctor. Very good. Okay, number eight. I don't know if Chrissia, thank you, Julie. Um, we have holiday next week and 
we don't know we don't have money ok we don't do not or we don't lo podemos hacer así sorry have money ok number nine Okay, the last participation. Okay, let's see. My cat is mm -hmm. friendly, mm -hmm. but is uh, angry. Okay, very good. Thank you, my dears. Okay, nice. So now you know how to complete a sentence using but or and, okay? So we will skip this part because it's a lot of work and I need that you can start working with however. Uh, so, uh, however, uh, is used to show that an idea contrasts with a previous statement. It can come either at the beginning of a sentence or in the middle. Know the examples below and, has, uh, and how commas and semicolons are used. For example, it's late. However, I'm not tired. <clears throat> it's late. However, I'm not tired. Okay, you can use both. Colon, I mean commas or semicolons. Semicolons es el punto y coma que decimos en español, ¿verdad? Y coma is the same, coma. Okay, hamburgers taste great. However, they have a lot of calories. Exercise is important. However, enough rest, it's also important. So I'm going to give you another, um, another sentences for you to try to uh, complete voluntarily. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sentences left for you to practice. <laughs> Let me see, I see two, okay. Elizabeth? Yes, number three. I was late for my class. For my class, however, yeah. I understood the topic. Very good. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Next volunteer. Me, teacher. Number four. Okay. Okay, Noé. Uh, the exam was difficult. However, I got mm. a good grade. Okay. Nice. Very good. Another volunteer. Let me see. Okay, Crisia. Adamson was sick. However, I have medicine. Okay, very good. Uh, however, he had medicine. See, porque es Mr. Adamson was sick. However, he has medicine. He has medicine. Very good. Nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, Another volunteer for six, seven, and eight. Cell phones are useful, however, they're expensive. Yeah, that's true. Very expensive, some <laughs> Very of them. expensive. One thousand uh, dollars and even more. <laughs> Ooh, Imagine yeah. a complete more month of salary. Or two months of salary. <laughs> <clears throat> That's true. Okay. Another volunteer? Number seven. Okay, Katia. Most people watch TV. However, I prefer listen to music. Yeah, sometimes it's good. You relax even more listening to music than watching TV. Okay. The last one. Okay, I will do the last one. Money is important in life, however, it's not everything, okay? And that's true. Okay, okay very good, my dears. Uh, so let's see if I can, I don't know why this is. Voy a hacer un stop share para que me deje salir. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Now you know how to uh, use uh, however in different sentences. 
And here I have an extra quiz that we are going just to uh, complete for you to know, okay? Comple it says, completes the sentences below to score your knowledge of however. For example, in number one, it says, my classmate can speak Spanish, however, sh however she uh, can speak Portuguese or study studied Spanish in school. What do you think is the best the best thing? Your B A A A A, right? <laughs> My classmate can speak Spanish, however, she can't speak Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. What about number two? Me teacher. Okay, no eh? He finished his homework in only 10 minutes. However, he made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, he made a lot of mistakes because he was so fast, but he didn't pay attention to correct. <coughs> Thank you, Noe. Elizabeth? I went shopping yesterday. However, I forgot to bring my money. Yeah, sometimes happens. And it's very sad, you know, you have to go back. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. That's true. Uh, let's see who else. Four. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Chrissy? Katia. Katia. Okay. Katia. After I watched the movie, I felt sad. However, I watched a funny movie later. Okay. Yes. That's right. To feel better. Okay, thank you, Katia. Uh, Crisia? Out by the dog while it was asleep. However, it woke up, wake up and bit my leg. <gasps> oh my God. I woke up, up, I woke by the dog while it was asleep. However, it woke, it woke up it woke and up. bit my leg. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah, dangerous, dangerous dog. Okay, thank you, Katia. Crisia, sorry. Okay, Roberto. Uh, I usually feel quite nervous before an exam. However, I didn't eat lunch after the exam. I think so, I don't know. Mm, maybe I, uh, however, I didn't feel nerv nervous before this exam. Eh, dice, usualmente me siento un poco nervioso antes de un, ex nervioso antes de un examen. Eh, pero la que más hace sentido es como, sin embargo, no me sentí nervioso antes de este examen. Es como que I feel more confidence. Me sentí un poquito más confiado, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, Roberto. Let me see. Let me see number 11. Number 11, teacher. Okay, Larissa. We were very happy when we moved. However, it cost a lot of money to move. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They were happy, but the amount of money they had to pay, it's high. Very good. Thank you, Larissa. Me, teacher. Okay, Julie. My friend usually knows everything. However, he couldn't answer my question. She couldn't answer. She couldn't answer. answer. Yeah, very good. That's right. He usually knows everything, but this specific question, she couldn't answer. Okay, very good. Thank you. 13. Maybe the 13, the number 13 is, I really enjoy studying English. However, I also want to study Swedish, okay? Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. Mm, yeah. Okay, Roberto. The dentist can't see me on Monday. However, he can see me on Tuesday. Yeah. Ah, good, very good. He can see me on Tuesday. 
because on Monday he's busy with more passions, but on Tuesday he will be able to attend to see me. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm going to stop share. Oops, stop share. In order to move, I don't know why it's freezing. Okay, here I have uh, some extra ones in order to finish this part of the class. Can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? No. 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 Okay, let me try again. Okay, now can you watch it? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. very good. I have the last one here. Tengo las últimas ya para cerrar ese tema. <clears throat> number six. I will do number six. We all work on the car and fix it. However, the car broke down again. Later. Yeah, the car broke down again later. Todos trabajamos para repararlo, ¿verdad? Pero el carro se volvió a, a dañar o a arruinar eh, no. más tarde, ¿verdad? No. Ok, number seven. Crisia. It's a secret. However, he told me the password. Oh, wow. He trusts a lot. Ok, <laughs> very good. Thank you, Crisia. Ok, number eight. Um, I help him. Oh, sorry, Elizabeth. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay, no, okay. Go ahead. sorry. <laughs> um, I've helped him with his work. Uh, however, he didn't say thank you. Yeah, sad. It's very <laughs> sad when you do that and people even don't say thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Noe. Okay. Uh, uh, Elizabeth? The final exam wasn't easy. However, I got an A. Okay, very a good. Plus. So it means that a, a, plus. a plus. Very good student, very intelligent. Okay, number 15. Okay. Okay, I, I'll do number 15. I gave my friend a gift on his birthday. However, he didn't like it. Okay, it, <laughs> oh, happen. it happens sometimes. So sad. So sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number 16. I look for my cat but couldn't find it, but couldn't find it. However, it came back after three days. Yeah, happy. Happily, the, the cat came back. Sometimes it happens that our pets go away and we are so uh, worried looking for and they came back, uh, come back later. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, uh, Larissa. Okay, 17. Me, teacher. Okay, Julie. We had a great time at the beach. However, it was sunny and warm. Uh, or you can say the one that more fit. It is. It started to rain. Okay. Mm. Tuvimos un gran tiempo en la playa. Sin embargo, comenzó a llover. Yeah, because they are a little bit opposite ideas. Okay, Katia, can you tell us the last one? Okay. Mm -hmm. I ran to my class because I was late. However, my teacher was also late. Oh, lucky one. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, my dears, I think that with these practices, we, we are able to have clear what however means when we use however. And it's like to contrast also two ideas that can be a little bit different or opposite, okay? So um, we are going to stop and finish here this part of the conjunctions. However, if you um, 
if you would like to have more uh, information, uh, of course, I can continue uh, providing you feedback um, if we have chance later at the end of the, of the class, of course, uh, or, or um, if, you, if you want, I can send the presentations. Today, I expect to send the presentation of the two previous um, topics, uh, that is um, conjunctions and the use of adverbs and adjectives. I will send them today to you. Okay, now uh, we are about to finish the class. We just have some, uh, just, just a few minutes, but I would like to start this new topic and tomorrow we are going to conclude it. Okay, so let me see if I can show you in the platform. Uh, okay, but before I can start this, I want to uh, uh, recall you, to remind you to please go and complete section 1.7. Remember that all that we do in this class is just um, review, is just um, feedback for you to complete the platform. And my materials are additional, but it's uh, very important that you can complete the platform. So in the platform, what you have to do is to choose the correct conjunction and rewrite the sentence. Uh, and then you have an example there. Uh, and following the example, you have to use <coughs> um, uh, number one, for example, Taipei is very nice. Everyone is, and maybe, and everyone is extremely friendly. Okay? Entonces, vea el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Canada is very big, the country needs more people. Entonces, Canada is very big, but the country needs more people. Eso es como. Eh, la forma correcta de hacerlo, si ustedes se fijan, hay que eliminar los puntos, porque muchas veces al, al dejar el punto, eso nos da error. Entonces, quiero preguntar si hay alguien que ya llegó a, esta, a este punto, que haya resuelto este ejercicio. Yes, teacher. Ok, Elizabeth, very good. So, uh, for the other uh, classmates, I will request you to please do, do it this week. Le voy a pedir el resto de la clase que me ayuden a completar este ejercicio esta semana. Recuerde que si tiene dudas, usted puede escribir al chat. Eh, de repente yo no estoy tan de inmediato respondiendo, pero créanme que cuando vea, cuando tenga la oportunidad de revisar el, el teléfono, yo le voy a, a responder. Ok. After being said that, I want to just go to Lesson Objective 1.8 that says, in this session, uh, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. And in the platform, you have there a video that says, what should I see there? And then you have to go to the platform and watch the video, uh, the number of times that you need to watch and listen and practice and pronounce. And then you go to a 1.10 lesson objective that says, in this session, modal verbs can and should will be taught in order to um, ask and answer questions, okay? So we are going to use them also for uh, ask questions. So we have there can and should. So that's what we are going to do today, okay? So I will stop sharing the platform and I will go to my presentation. Okay, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So here I have um oops. I have uh, a definition of some model models, the concept and some examples. Uh, in this case, uh, the platform is talking about uh, could and should and also can, but we have some others that we will study later, like may, might. And will. So we use could to express possibility, to ask permission in an informal way, and to request things in a very uh, informal or familiar way. For example, to express possibility, the sentence that I have here is extreme rain could cause the river to flood the village. And that has been uh, true these weeks in our country. La lluvia extrema eh, 
podría causar inundaciones. Eh, podría causar eh, eh, floodings, que es inundaciones en los ríos y en las vías, ¿verdad? en los pueblos. Eh, when we use could for permission, eh, this is in a very informal way. I say, could I use your notebook, please? Yo uso could para pedir permiso cuando es de una manera más familiar, más informal, ¿verdad? Eh, para pedir algo. Could you tell me the way to the library, please? ¿Puede decirme eh, cómo llegar o, la, o, la, o la, la vía para llegar a la librería? Eh, may. May expresses possibility. That may be a better solution for you. Esta eh, podría ser una mejor solución para ti. May, eh, permission. You may buy something if you wish, said her grandfather. Puedes comprar algo si tú quieres, dijo su abuelo. <coughs> Might. It's a slight possibility. This thing may win the game, but I doubt it. El Mike eh, es como una posibilidad, pero bien ligera, ¿verdad? Bien, bien poco probable. Este equipo eh, pudiera ganar el juego, pero lo dudo. Mike is the past form of May. Eh, la, la, eh, dice que Mike es la, pasada, la forma pasada de May. May es puedo, ¿verdad? Poder, pero de pedir permiso. Eh, y entonces might es pudiera, ¿verdad? The doctor said he might be late. El doctor dijo que él pudiera estar tarde o podría en algún caso, ¿verdad? Can. Ability expresses ability, permission, or offers. Mary can play the piano. In this case, uh, we are talking about the ability, okay, of moving your fingers to play the piano. Mary puede tocar el piano. Permission. You can, look at, you can look at this. Puede ver esto. I'm giving you my permission. Offer. Can I help, can I help your father? ¿Puedo ayudar a tu padre? Advice. Shoot for advice. I think you should buy the blue one. Yo pienso que tú deberías comprar la azul o el azul. Okay? I'm not forcing you. I'm not pun, uh, pushing you to do it, but I'm giving advice. Suggestion. And we use will, which is a future tense auxiliary. And we say, next week, I will be in London. Also for invitations. Will they join us for uh, play football? Se unirán ellos con nosotros para jugar fútbol? Okay, so those are the models in a general way. Here, I have the structure. Uh, for, the, for you, uh, Elizabeth, dígame. I have a question, DJ. In a scale of uh, 100% of zero, mm -hmm. what is, uh, for example, in permission, when we have um, may, can, uh, I, I know that maybe might is like an in, like a familiar way, but what is the most like uh, polite to, to ask for permission? Uh, the, The more polite is could. Could you please open the door? Okay. Could you please close the window? Sí. Okay. Eh, esa es la más polite. Could. Podría, porque no es lo mismo que yo le... Puede cerrar la ventana. Se oye un poco tosco a que yo le diga, podría cerrar la ventana. Y si a eso le agrego, please, por favor, uh -huh. ya se okay. oye más formal. Entonces siempre es could you, could you please. When eh, you know people, right? Maybe when you don't know people, but when you know people, if we are here in a very familiar way, sometimes I can say, can you please uh, open your mic? Puede, por favor, abrir su micrófono, pero digamos, hay un cierto nivel de, de confianza, nos conocemos un poco, ¿verdad? Como para poder usar el can, por decirlo así. Okay. Thank very you. good. Thank you for asking, Elizabeth. Okay, so the, the structure is subject plus the model, plus the verb base in base form, plus the complements that can be adverbs or any other words. For example, here, Rihanna. Rihanna should dance every day, okay? So if you see Rihanna is a subject, the model is should, we are giving advice to Rihanna to dance when? Every day, okay? 
Okay, Rihanna debería bailar todos los días. The subject, Homer. Homer can eat 100 doubt nuts. Homer is the subject, can is the model, eat is the verb in the base form, and the complement is a uh, hundred donuts, okay? Uh, this is the, the ability or the capacity of, um, of Homer of eating hundred donuts. Uh, in the third example, the subject is Ariana G has to change her, her hairstyle, okay? In this case, the subject is Ariana G. The model is has to, tiene que, the base form change, and then the complement, her hairstyle. Okay, so after saying the structure, I can go, just in the last two minutes I have, uh, to say that can is like in the present, and could could be like a kind of past. For example, Ability in present, I say, I can speak four languages. Now, at this moment in present, I have the ability to talk, to speak, I mean, four languages. But if I'm going to talk about the past, I say, I could, I could play a guitar when I was a child. Maybe until now, I forgot how to play the guitar. But when I was a child, I was uh, capable of, uh, play the guitar. When I say possibility in the present, smoking can cause cancer. But a past possibility is a lot of crime could be prevented. Yeah? A permission in an informal way. Can I use your book, please? This is a very familiar way. But if I want to be more polite, more formal, I say, could we go home now? Uh, to make a request in a very informal way, can you hand me the pen? ¿Me puedes pasar la, el, lap, el, el lapicero? Uh, request, but in a very formal or polite way. Could you lend me this book? To, have an, to make an offer of help, can I help you? Uh, to give a suggestion, I could, help you with, with your, I could help you with English if you want. Okay, I'm not forcing you, only a suggestion. Uh, cannot, to say you're, you are not allowed it. You cannot or you can't, is the same, is equals, you can smoke here, it's a prohibition. You are not allowed it. And when I use it as condition, as conditional of can, I say, I could visit many places if I have more, okay? If I have more money. So I will stop the class here, but we will continue tomorrow uh, having some exercises similar to the ones we had today with conjunctions, okay? Uh, do you have questions until here? Tenemos sure. preguntas hasta acá, sí? Eh, esto lo puede compartir igual en el grupo. Sí, Arnold. Eh, esta de hoy se la voy a compartir mañana. Este día, como eso de las 10 de la noche, les va a llegar este, la, las dos anteriores. Y esta se la voy a compartir hasta mañana porque todavía nos hace falta completar los ejercicios. ¿Sí? Ok, gracias. Okay, okay, very teacher. good. You're welcome. You're see welcome. You okay, see you tomorrow. It, it has been a pleasure to have you here in class. I hope to see you tomorrow, my dears. Okay, thank, okay. You, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good